Terraria NPCs are a little bit weird. I mean, some of them are going to offer you annoying fishing quests that never end. Another one's going to ask you to cleanse corruption and you can never seem to find the last percentage. And then other ones just kind of stand there and don't do anything. But despite mixed reviews on whether one NPC is good and another is bad, that hasn't prevented me from making a house for absolutely every single one. Hey Curry fans, welcome back to another speed build video. Guys, in this one I am finally going to make that futuristic, interesting design and build for the cyborg, which I've been thinking about for a long time. That means it's going to look very technologically interesting, it's going to have that futuristic look, and of course it's going to be in space because why the hell not? That said, I think I might have gone a teensy bit overboard when it came to this design. It's very, very large considering it's for a single NPC. It's got a lot of intricacies and details, and it's obviously built with that futuristic style in mind. But I promise you, it is a very interesting and unique build, so I definitely encourage you to check it out thoroughly and just maybe take a few ideas for some of your future builds. But of course, on the other hand, this is going to be a slightly longer build, so I do apologize for that, guys. It's just one of the natures of building sometimes. You get a little bit carried away, and things get a little bit out of hand. But if you want to be in it for the long haul, guys, do come check me out live on Twitch. The link is down below. And of course, if you're enjoying any of the content here on the channel, guys, or this video you're watching right now, then feel free to hit the like, the subscribe, or the um, little, uh, you know, dinner bell thingy so you can know when the next video hits the old YouTube universe. And of course, because it's for you do and helps the channel and might even help a few folks that like Terraria building, well, find their way here. So appreciate you guys doing that. Of course, as a reminder, guys, don't forget to stay until the end of this video because I will cover every single material that I use. So if you're looking to maybe build something similar or futuristic or I guess an exact copy of what I made, then you'll know exactly how to do that. And if I did miss any uh, elements or details or whatever, just leave me a comment down below and I will get back to you. All right, enough for me, guys. Let's get to the build, shall we?
All right, so we definitely went a little overboard with that build, but as promised at the beginning of the video, I will cover all of the materials right now. So go ahead and pause the video here if you wanna take a closer look at either this chest of materials or if you wanna take a closer look at this chest of materials. In any case, we're gonna start with the left side here, and this is gonna cover all of our walls, which there are a lot. Now, of course, I'm not going to go over every single wall or material that I use, but I am going to point out a few that I thought stood out. And to start, that's going to be this Starlit Heaven wallpaper, which I used in the portal. I thought it's a good addition here because it kind of gives us this little background effect, and I think it goes really well with some of those item frames. Of course, you don't have to use this one, guys. You could use any shadow painted wall that you like, and that would give you a pretty good effect as well. Now, of course, in a build like this, we are going to see a lot of metals and some woods. Again, these are all going to be painted gray or white for the most part. So you're going to see some boreal wood, some copper plating, some iron brick, some cog. Those are pretty standard, in my opinion, for the kind of builds I do. We also did use some palladium column, which I am using a little bit more when it comes to walls, and then also some platinum brick wall, which I use quite frequently. Uh, the ones that are a little bit unique here, though, for, I guess, these metal or clean looks are going to be our Titan stone, which I don't use very often, and I kind of paired that a lot with um, some shroomite plating wall as well as some heaven forge brick wall now again these are not typical materials that i use they're used very sparingly but they do have a nice effect in the design the portals themselves have the waterfall wall behind them which i obviously painted a different color and i think they work fairly well although they are a little bit distracting in some ways now when it comes to the actual floating islands in themselves i used a lot of hellstone brick some living leaf wall of course some mudstone and some craggy stone wall here and there and i think that combination looks really well when you connect it in with some copper plating or or some stone slab wall but adding a lot of texture is never a bad idea and i think overall we pulled off a pretty good or pretty convincing looking final product so moving over to the other chest guys we're going to go ahead and cover both our blocks and our paints starting with the blocks and again you're probably not going to be surprised to find some of these i guess copper plating blocks or you know some palladium or some tin plating and some hellstone brick and some stone there they're all fairly obvious you can kind of see them um you know we also use some sandstone some mudstone in the actual uh, floating island sections as well but perhaps some of the blocks that stand out the most to me are going to be the xenon moss which we did put on some of the stone i think it gives it a really cool effect uh we used a lot of booster tracks and minecart tracks around the portal specifically and then we even use some luminite brick which i don't use that often but star royale brick is one that is a luminite variant which i almost never use and i've only used in this build i think so far or maybe once or twice in other builds so it's a very interesting choice i think i used it sparingly as well and it looks pretty good in combination with the luminite as well as our blue team block so again none of these blocks really stand out in my opinion they all work together fairly cohesively but that is by no means the only way to do this Finally, when it comes to the paints, guys, we did use a wide variety of paints. Obviously, the purple, pink, and the deep purple are all going to be associated with the little glass dome that we made, which was a lot of fun to put together. And then we used a lot of deep blue, a lot of cyan, a lot of deep cyan, and some green and some deep green. So a variety of colors just to give us a lot of a different feel here. But the goal was really to have a cohesive look while allowing a lot of colors to bleed into this. Because again, if we just make everything gray and white, which is the common, I guess, futuristic or space theme, it gets really Really boring really fast and yeah that basically covers all of the materials guys so hopefully that gives you a better idea of how i went about putting this together and if you have any questions guys please leave a comment down below with that said all of our materials are covered so let's go ahead and move on with the rest of the video all right guys so there you go there is a very intricate build for our cyborg npc done now i gotta say there is a lot of stuff going on here it's really actually hard to show it all it's a very sort of vertical build which makes it a little bit harder to show it off at the end but there's a ton of details i think really stand out and I think the first one to talk about is really about the landscaping and the design of everything. I think having these kind of like futuristic pillars or nodes coming off of the actual terrain is a really fun idea and probably something I'll use in future builds. And of course, the portal with the little glass dome and some of those solar panels, it just gives us that futuristic vibe. The antenna also really help in accentuating that as well. And also the color palette helps to give it that futuristic and clean vibe that we're going for. As much as I do like the little portal thing, I think I could add a little bit more detail there. And of course, while the terrain itself Itself is interesting it is ultimately just terrain um, I'm not super fanatical about the way some of the designs of the buildings came out part of me almost wishes that I had made a teleporter instead of that connecting chamber with the stairs in the top right of the build but again this is one of those things that you kind of go through uh, the motions and your design will improve as you go so not something that I'm you know super critical of but I'm always looking for little details that I can maybe improve on or fix in a future build
world, and those would be two or three that I'd probably, well, maybe change in the future. But of course, that's just one man's opinion, guys. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What did you like? What would you change? Or maybe what you'd like to see me make in a future build, because as you guys know, I'm open to suggestions. But yeah, that's basically it, guys. So thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. And as always, thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. We will see you in the next one.